Hi, this video is about configuring SDL, Simple Direct Media Layer for C++ in Visual Studio 2022. Okay, so go to this URL and then this URL here and then uh, download this particular package SDL to the web 2.24 VC okay so download it and once you download it all right so you can copy this folder and I'm going to pull it in the C drive I created a folder called SDL so I'm going to paste it here okay next go into Visual Studio 2022 create a new project so I'm going to create an empty project and press next and I'm going to call SDL projects Okay, click next, create. Alright, so now <coughs> let's add a new item, a C file. Add. Okay, so let's try to include. The header file which we do not have yet okay and then the main method put in the arguments all right so now what we need to do is to okay so you can see that my CPU is 64 right so if if yours is x86 then you have to do for x86 so I'm going to right click and then choose properties and under here project properties okay yeah okay so right click on your project so go to vc plus plus directories Go to the include directories and then under include directories press edit uh, create one one line here and what we want is to browse to the include folder of our SDR package Okay, so this is the one select and then press OK all right next we need to go to the linker under input under additional dependency so same thing edit and we need to type in sdl to dot lib semicolon sdl to main dot lib semicolon press ok and next go to the vc directories under the library directories Edit again. 
so add new and then navigate to the library so mine is x64 so if you are also compiling for the x86 then you have to also add in one more entry for the x86 so select folder click ok and ok so you can see that now my project is able to find the SDR package so I'm going to run it right so the error is oh okay return okay let me just put in a mess a very simple SDL API so it is show simple yeah show simple message and I'm going to put in SDL message message board information message board information comma hello world comma successful and a return value okay, let's run it right so you can see the message box okay if you get an error which says that sdl2.dll the dy dynamic link library is not found then what you need to do which you have to do it is to go to the environment then environment variables go to system and go to the path edit and add in a new okay so maybe I will just simulate the error for you so let me take away this this one first so let me try to run it okay I think I have to close it Okay, run it. Right, so you get this error. It says sdl2.dll was not found. Right, so what we need to do is to just close Visual Studio, search under environment. Okay, this is the one. Environment variables go to system press new okay no edit uh, okay go to path okay press edit add in a new one 
go and browse so what we want is to find the DLL to point to the DLL so it will be C drive SDL under library and it's inside 64 okay, okay so one more entry okay okay and okay okay go back to your Visual Studio Run it. Okay, and everything now is working. All right. So because the configuration is specific to this project, and uh, that means that if you were to add another project, if you were to add another project. Uh, you have to redo the configuration so that's one that's one way easy way is to duplicate this solution so you can right click on the solution go and open folder in file explorer and traverse up right so this is the this is the solution so copy it and then paste it and rename this as project 3 because I already got 2 so 3 and then now you have another solution that has SDL2 also properly configured so let me let, let's try so let's go to open project and solution project 3 So this is project 3. So run it. Project 3. So let's go back to the original project. Over here. So this is still hello world successful so run it all right 